I am KB with Nerdifiles. Lovely to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Oh my goodness. I adore this show. It is so, so good. So let oh. me just dive in. Oh, All right. So talk a little bit about what Mal's encounter with Edwin and Paige teaches him about life, love, and forgiveness. Mm, deep. We start off deep. Um, I consider their relationship a love triangle, if, if that makes sense. And what I feel Mal takes from this triangle, especially just in watching uh, Edwin and Paige's relationship and recalibration after him coming home is the uh, you know level of forgiveness and level of compassion that you know and patience um, we must have in order to kind of you know make things flow and get out of the way and just and just flow with it. Things are complex, and um, I think Mal already you know being the secure attachment style that he is and the kind of rock that he is for Edwin and Paige individually and as a unit. Um, I think he already had that, you know, level of uh, forgiveness and compassion within himself, but seeing their relationship and interacting with them, uh, I think is like a, uh, in a, it's a cycle. It, he just goes deeper and deeper and deeper uh, into those, uh, those themes. Ooh, I love that you called the, uh, I love triangle, because I really didn't think about it that way until you mentioned it. So, mm -hmm. you know, how does Mal kind of allow space for himself to to not only be himself, but also how does he protect his boundaries in this right. love triangle as he continues to kind of foster his working and personal relationship with, with Edwin? Right, right. And that's the thing that I've kept saying to people is like, he is someone who is giving and forgiving and compassionate and empathetic and all these things and, you know, gives love and loves his work and, you know, really pours his all into his work, but he does have, um, tight boundaries. He's he's strong in his yeses and he's strong in his noes. Um, but also on the other side of that, I mean, as, as we'll be able to see throughout the series, he's not perfect. So whether that triangle is ethical or not, that's y'all business. That's not up to, you know, <laughs> you know love wins uh sometimes <laughs> and so um yeah how he able how he's able to do it i mean i think just his his background you know his profession um but just because you know he's had experience in the in in the mental health space and in the 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 justice system and and all that he's done um he's still human at the end of the day he's still human he's still complex mm -hmm. Listen, it's the way that, and also Paige and Edwin will push boundaries <laughs> in every capacity, I feel like. Right, right. All the issues, <laughs> all the buttons, all the buttons, just de -de just tapping on them, tap, 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 tap it on. Um, so my last question is just for you, Marquis, you know, stepping into the role of Mal, what did you, just you as yourself, take away from this role that you will continue to use in your life moving forward? Patience forgiveness, mm. compassion, empathy, understanding, uh, acceptance, surrender. Um, these are all things that I, you know, had a level of understanding of prior to this role, but um, this role specifically made me dive deeper into it and helped me heal some things that were going on um, in my life at the time. So forever mm. grateful, yeah. Yes, and I love that you said surrender. I think that's a huge one, something that I also took away from the show. So yeah. just thank you so much for uh, this performance. Uh, and thank you so much for chatting with Nerdifiles. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for chatting with me and us. And I uh, can't wait for the rest of the world to see it and see you on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.